Alright, video time. So, we were off by like, I don't know, one degree Fahrenheit. This is a uh, Prime's been running for about three hours, maybe more, four hours. I don't know. Anyway, um, I don't trust the software 100%. So, but those are the temps. Peak temps of the. BRM went up to what, I don't know, 74 so far. Right now it's actually on a light iteration. I can I can tell I get the fan set on auto, so it ramps up. I have it on purpose so I can tell when I should start paying attention to it. But anyway, um, I did this mostly not because I wanted to test the board out, but I've had this chip at 1.6 volts for like three days in a row, and uh, people are worried about degradation. Seems to be doing 3.9 still just fine. So. Alright, let's see if we can do something. First we need to put some tape on this thing. So, get rid of all the fans here. Put them off to the side. Now, I didn't take the plastic cover off on this because I wanted to get a ballpark idea of what the temps were with the plastic cover and a fan on it. I'm going to pull the plastic cover off next. Uh, I'm going to put a piece of tape over this RM sink so we can get some accurate measurements with the IR. So, as you can see, there's a piece of tape over the heat sink now. Covers on it. Let's see what we get for temps now. Change this down to Celsius. It's SOC, I don't have tape on it, but I'm not really concerned about that. I'm more concerned about the VRM sink. Pretty cool right now. Chokes are pretty warm. Caps are even warmer. So, could be a question of where are they getting their readings from. I mean, look at that. 58, 59. Caps are just really, really warm. PRM sink isn't. So. Be a good question of where they've got their temp sensor at. Anyway, let's uh, let me put this camera down so I can flip this board without breaking something. Should probably have uh, it's like directly on the sink. Probably have tape on here, but it doesn't get more accurate. Being right on it. Usually with these things, it's more about how far away you are. The accuracy changes the closer you get.
Once again, look at that. Jokes. It's probably the temps we're seeing is right here. All right, let me flip the board. Hopefully we don't break anything. Flipping boards while running prime is so fun. The biggest thing you're going to worry about is the VGA popping out. I guess we're going to have to pull out the Wi-Fi case. Break that. Pull out port 80. Break that. Kind of lean that like that. All right. Let's see what I got here first. All right. This is the back of the board. Pretty damn high. So, uh, that'll be where the FETs are. 68, you seen? Take a look at that. Mm. 70C69. in prime so maybe the temp sensors are accurate that's pretty damn hot you put this back on celsius check the soc move this back further it's a crappy thing my hand keeps getting in the way SOC just really isn't a problem. I mean, I'm not pushing it right now. It's not a major problem. I had a hot spot on my other board over here. It doesn't seem to have it. So, this board seems solid back of the CPU socket yeah, I, I think those temps might be right so all right let's see if we can get some uh, voltage measurements here Give her indeed at 1.4 volts. I don't know which caps are which right now, so we're just going to poke around until we find something. I should say, don't do as I do, do as I say. Because, uh, Probably gonna end up breaking something. One point three four, that might be memory. This is probably V core. One point three nine volts. I'm set at one point four. It's just holding there. It's definitely V-Core. So, my guess at what LLC settings and what 
voltage I was going to see is pretty darn accurate. Let's see if my SOC is right. SOC is probably over here. Nope, that's not SOC. How about over here? This is probably it. I wanted one volt. I got 1.01. .01. So I probably overdid it. Not by much, but overdid it. Just a hair. So, now that we know that, and I've already run prime long enough to, uh, holy cow, focus in. I hate this camera phone. Anyway, let's go see what the bio settings are while I get the board flipped. Let's put this down so I can actually do stuff here. Stop all workers. Ran for four hours, 32 minutes. So no degradation on that chip. As you see, we had the memory loaded. Was that, uh, I don't know, 90%. this so you guys don't have as much reflection hopefully this bios will be a bit easier to read than my other one oh missed it Windows 10. Boots and fast restart slow. So we can actually get into BIOS this time. Hello. Give me the BIOS. Voltage settings. All right, so I was at 1.39375, and I got 1.39 on the meter. High and high. Oh, the reflection's screwing with you guys again. So let me shut this off for a second. Hold this. So 1.39, and I was getting 1.39 at the socket. High and high. I had 1.01 .01 at the SOC and I had it set 1.01. .01. I was trying to compensate because I was paying attention to the PC health, but apparently I didn't need to compensate. So I'm going to drop this back down. Um, CPU VDDP, I didn't measure that, but we did measure uh, memory. It was just a little low. So I'm going to go back and measure VDDP later just to make sure that it's doing what it's supposed to. I don't know why my DRAM termination is up so high. Shouldn't be up there. I don't know if the board did something stupid automatically or whatever, but anyway. That's what I was getting in software. As you can see, the software is still off, at least for the vCore. Um, about this board, 100, uh, 120, and this multiplier didn't work. No, I want to be curious right now. What happened was, I was fine earlier at automatic, um, basically a default multiplier and high B clock. So let's drop this down. 2400 just out of curiosity actually 
this is gonna take forever, so let's try 130, I think it is. It gives us 3120, 134, 3216, we wanna drop a little bit more. And then my chip is only a 3.9 gig chip, so I'm going to have to compensate for that somehow without the auto. Uh, so we'll go try 130, I guess. There we go. So 3120, 3.9 gig. Let's see what happens. I don't know. I got an E5 last time. Now I got a 55 this time. So it apparently doesn't like that B clock either. So anyway, I'll work out the B clock issues on this board soon. And uh, I'll post up how to do it afterwards. 120 is golden so far at the default multiplier. Just need to figure out the, the sequence. If there is one, maybe it's just a BIOS bug and nothing but a BIOS will fix it, but I'll try to find a workaround. Anyway, I hope this was informative for the Gigabyte Gaming K7.